From the Tour Nation Production Studios, located in the Media Arts Learning Community at Ball High School in Galveston, Texas. Hi, my name's Mr. W. Good morning, Ball High. Real Muto. Bouncing ball to third. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. From the Studio of Dreams at Tour Nation Productions. Reporting from the Studio of Dreams located at Ball High School in Galveston, Texas, welcome to the award-winning Good Morning Ball High. I'm Asher Templewood. And I'm Banks Goodmanson. To get things started, as always, stay tuned for today's Time Rewind, courtesy of our good friend, David Mendel. Well, you talk about your Sputnik and your hound dog crew. It's Time Rewind for November 3rd. Score one for the Soviets in the space race. On this day in 1957, the USSR launches Sputnik 2 with a dog named Laika on board, the first living creature to travel into space. In your heart, you know he's right. Vote for Barry Goldwater. In one of the most crushing victories in the history of U.S. presidential elections, incumbent Lyndon Johnson defeats Republican challenger Barry Goldwater in 1964. <laughs> It's 1969, and a string of local educational TV stations unites under the banner of the Public Broadcasting Service, or PBS. Exactly 10 years later, with the new wave craze picking up steam, M has the number one song. Born on this day, another new wave musician, Adam Ant, also actress Kate Capshaw, and comedian Roseanne Barr. That's Time Rewind. I'm David Mendel. Traffic on KTOR. The Tornado. I'm Ethan checking your traffic and weather together this morning on Good Morning Ball Hot. First taking a look at our traffic, checking our Transtar cameras, there's the usual traffic coming on the island on I-45 from the mainland. Watch out for slowdowns just past 61st Street. The Galveston Ferry's running with its usual waiting times to and from Bolivar. Slow down and buckle up. Galveston weather. And here's your official Good Morning Ball High seven day weather forecast powered by the National Weather Service. Today look for partly sunny skies with a high around 76. Tonight expect mostly cloudy skies with a low near 72. Rain returns tomorrow. Now back to more Good Morning Ball High. If you would like to join the K-Tour, the Tornado Team, drop us a line. We'd love to hear from you. If you're interested in signing up to take the TSIA 2, it'll be offered Thursdays during the fall semester. For further information, contact the link below. Attention all seniors, the last picture day is scheduled for November 7th. There are currently no other dates on this calendar. For further information, contact Miss Simmons. Are you in a band, in a musical group, or even a guitarist? The yearbook staff would like to interview and possibly feature you and your group in the 2023 yearbook. Email Tammy Simmons at tammysimmons at gisd.org or stop by room 2063 and tell them about your musical talents. The Sexuality and Gender Equality Club meets in Miss Day's room 2081 every Monday from 315 to 415. All are welcome. Come join the fun. This year's tour cards are on sale for $10. Get great discounts at area businesses by using your tour card. To purchase one, see Mr. Judas in room 2003. Proceeds benefit Project Graduation. The UIL Computer Science Team meets Tuesdays in room 1121. And the Chess Club meets Thursdays in room 1121. For further information, see Mr. Stewart. Parking enforcement is now in full effect. The security team needs to be able to see all parking passes clearly. For further information, contact Ms. Schumann Dispensa at the link below or stop by room 1083 between 12 and 4 each day. Attention all students. Students are not allowed to leave a classroom for any reason without an e-hall pass. For further assistance, please ask one of your classroom teachers. The Fellowship of Christian Athletes meets every Tuesday morning from 7 to 7.25 a.m. in room 1056. 
located in the front hallway. You don't have to be an athlete or a Christian to attend. For further information, see Coach Creighton. Makeup hours are held Saturdays 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. and Monday through Friday 6 a.m. to 7 a.m. There will not be any summer makeup hours. All hours must be completed by December 17th for fall credit. Hours not completed by then will result in loss of class credit. Here's today's official Good Morning Ball High picture of the day. If you have an interesting photo that you would like to be considered as a future picture of the day, send it to Mr. Judas and we will be happy to feature it. And for even more photos, check out Ball High Photography's photo album. Go to Google and search Ball High Photography. Attention all seniors, be sure and plan to attend the Senior Night Expo to be held on Thursday, November 10th from 4 to 6.30 in the cafeteria. The event will host all things senior class of 2023 related, including information on graduation materials, project grad, prom, invitations, and cap and gowns, fundraisers, senior shirts, yearbooks, and much more. Each participating group will have its own table. There will be drawing events for prizes every 30 minutes during the expo. Come out and enjoy the fun on November 10th from 4 to 6.30 in the cafeteria. Now, let's check in with Matthew and see what's going on in sports. Now, in basketball news, the boys basketball season for the 2022-23 season will be held on Monday, November 14th at 3.15. If you're interested, make sure you have a physical home file. For further information, contact Coach Temple. And in football news, the Toys will play their final game of this regular season on Saturday afternoon at 1 p.m. at Butler Stadium in Houston. Now, back to Asher and Banks. Now, let's check with Ethan and see what's trending this morning on social media. I'm Ethan, and here's what is trending this morning on social media. There was no winner in last night's Powerball jackpot. Saturday's drawing will be worth at least $1.5 billion. The new Avatar 2 trailer shows off underwater visuals and breathtaking action. And the Astros stunned the Phillies by winning a historic Game 4 of the World Series. Now back to more Good Morning Ball High. Now here's some headlines this morning from the newspapers across America. Don't forget that Timer 9 can also be found on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. Check it out for more pop culture and trivia. I'm Asher. And I'm Banks. Wishing, wishing you a terrific day. Morning Ball High is produced by the students in the Media Arts Small Learning Community at Ball High School in Galveston, Texas. <laughs>